Whether you're a veteran Monster Hunter or a newcomer to the series, Monster Hunter Now offers something new and exciting for everyone. Despite being on mobile, Monster Hunter Now retains the core gameplay mechanics that made the series so great, providing an authentic monster hunting experience. This starter guide will give you essential information you need to know before you embark on your monster hunting journey out in the real world. Monster Hunter Now is developed by Capcom in collaboration with Niantic, the same developers who brought us Pokemon Go. So in true Niantic fashion, Monster Hunter Now forces us gamers to go outside and touch some grass. You might even encounter a real-life Palico. Similar to Pokemon Go, players need to explore the real world to encounter monsters. However, instead of capturing and befriending these monsters, you hunt them down and gut them for parts to make cool weapons and armor. When you first load into the game, the only weapon you can use is the sword and shield. Now, there are five other weapons available in Monster Hunter Now. The great sword, the long sword, the hammer, like Bogan, and the bow. To unlock these weapons, you have to progress through Monster Hunter Now's story quest. Completing Chapter 2 will get you new weapons. Initially, you will encounter a lot of the small monsters. Hunt them as much as you can, as they drop materials you will need a lot of later in the game. As you progress through the story, larger monsters will start to appear, and they will become increasingly difficult the farther you go in the story. Their difficulty is indicated by the number of stars they have which also indicates the rarity of materials they can drop. The more stars they have, the harder they are to hunt, and the rarer the materials they can drop. I will cover monster material rarities in another video, so if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The main way to progress through Monster Hunter now is by doing story quests. The monsters you encounter will depend on where you are in the story. So the monsters you see on your screen may differ from what your friend sees on theirs. The game's map will display nearby monsters and gathering points. These will vary depending on which habitat you are in. And in Monster Hunter Now, there are three different habitats. The forest, desert, and swamp. In the forest habitat, you can find vegetation gathering points. In the desert, bone piles are present. And in the swamp, you can find precious mining outcrops. Habitats will refresh and rotate every three hours, meaning the area you visited earlier will have a different habitat three hours later. Gathering points in the habitat will refresh and you can gather them up again. You will find essential materials from these gathering points, so gathering them up is important. Fortunately, your palico will be there to assist you in gathering these items. While you focus on the hunt, your palico will gather nearby materials and even paintball monsters. The paintball system in Monster Hunter Now allows players to save monsters for later hunts with friends or at home. Palicos can use three blue paintballs and save up to three monsters daily, guaranteeing at least three hunts a day. Remember that these paintball monsters do expire, so hunt them when you can. Even when the game is closed, your cat companion can act on its own. Collect materials and use paintballs as long as you turn on Adventure Sync. Unfortunately, in this game, your palico does not assist you in combat. Monster Hunter Now's combat is simplified in a way that you can play the game on the go with one finger. The Niantic team calls this tap and flick controls. Tap consecutively to perform a combo, tap and hold to charge the weapon, and flick in any direction to dodge. Monsters in this game glow red when they are about to attack which lets us know when we need to dodge. Dodge at the right time and your character will do this animation, and the next hit you land will do more damage. As you damage the monster, this circle gauge fills up. This is your weapon's unique special skill, and you can activate it once the gauge is full to deal massive damage. 
Each hunt lasts only 75 seconds, so our biggest enemy is not dying from the monster, it's the time limit. Basically, every hunt is a speedrun. You can only hunt large monsters if your health is above 30%. Your HP does recover over time, but you can use potions or first aid meds to instantly recover some HP. These two items have the same effects. They recover 50% of your health, and if you faint during a hunt, these items can revive you. The only difference between the two is that you buy potions using real money, and first aid meds you get 5 free every day by claiming them in the shop. But you can only carry 10 first aid meds at a time. At the start of the game before you reach HR 11, your palico will give you free first aid med refills every time you use one keeping you topped up with 10 first aid meds. So this is the perfect time to get your perfect dodge timings down as you don't have to worry about your first aid meds at this stage of the game. Currently in Monster Hunter now, there is no crafting system. This means that there is no other way to craft additional potions or other consumable items. Hopefully, the developers will add some sort of crafting system in the future. Hunting with friends is a key part of any Monster Hunter experience, and Monster Hunter Now has implemented this in a very interesting way. Once you reach HR6, you unlock the party feature, allowing you to group up with three other friends. However, they must be physically nearby to be able to scan a QR code to join. Despite this limitation, the party feature is great, making it easier to hunt with friends. You can team up to take down monsters you encounter in the wild or those in your paintball list. If you don't have any friends nearby, you can still hunt with other players. At the beginning of each monster encounter, you have the option to hunt solo or join nearby hunters within 200 meters of your location. It's important to note that in this game, urgent story quests need to be completed solo. Speaking of friends, make sure to redeem a friend's referral code to receive these items. Here's my referral code and feel free to use it cause we're all friends here. Help a brother out. <laughs> and that's it for this starter guide. If you have any other Monster Hunter Now tips, leave them in the comments section below. I will be uploading more Monster Hunter Now content in this channel, so if you like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. One last thing before I go, save your zennies. And that's it, I'll see you guys in the next one.